So in today's video, we are going to do our LED light upgrade to another locomotive. This is just a example of one that's already done, minus my mount uh, messed up positioning of the light right there. But I do have very bright LEDs, no matter what direction you're going in. And that is the intention of today's video. I'm going to convert another one from start to finish with you guys so you can see just what's involved and how easy this actually is. Give me a second to uh, get this guy out of here and get my test track out of here and get up, get set up for the rest of the video. So just for a introduction to what we're doing, this is the completed locomotive which I just showed you. It already had the mod done to remove this little bar which is that black and red wire. These two black and red wires are for the LEDs. I've got two LEDs right there with resistors in it and a bridge rectifier uh, which enables the polarity to go back and forth. One wire is just picked up to uh, the pickup off the trucks. The other is soldered to the frame and that is the finished product. Put him to the side. This is a locomotive we're going to be doing in this video. It's also gotten the mod to remove that. He's got some friendly blue wire and a nice easy frame to solder to. That is the old light bulb and it's going to go away. It's going to get some shiny new LED lights. I'm not sure what size yet. I've got lots of LEDs. But it's definitely going to be a white. So if you give me a second, we're going to set up the tripod and we will get started. First, we're going to get the LED set up with the bridge rectifier. I'll explain that a little and then we will get to installing it actually on the chassis. So I want to show you why I'm wiring it like I do. I'll show you the problem with LEDs and DC. These two leads are hooked up to my power supply. If it would stay hooked up, close enough. Turn it on, we get light. If I switch it to the other direction, change the polarity, light goes off. Light on, light off. Change the polarity, light goes on and off. I have kids, the locomotives don't always go on in the right direction. So I want this light to come on no matter what direction the locomotive is on and what polarity the track is. So that's why we're going to install this. This is a bridge rectifier. Basically takes care of the polarity issue for us. So what we're going to do is solder our red wire, which are positive, to the tallest leg of the rectifier, which is marked positive. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. A little hard to see, I realize that. The negative will go to the one directly on the back side of it. Then our incoming power is going to go to these two. Uh, which will be hooked up one to the chassis, one to the pickup. And that's really how simple it is. So we're going to bring out the handy helper. Get this guy set up. We don't need these wires to be nearly as long. So we are going to trim them back quite a bit. And save that wire because we're actually going to use it. Trying best to make sure 
I keep all my work in focus for you guys. I'm going to restrip these wires. Turn on my soldering iron before I forget. As soon as my soldering iron warms up, we're going to end up attaching these to the positive and negative. So while we're waiting for the soldering iron to warm up, I'll show you a little bit better what I am talking about. So we've got our input power coming in. I've got it on. I'm going to attempt to do this so you can see it. I'm just going to touch it to the two posts. Light on. Change polarity. Light on. Change the direction. Light on. Light on. Every time you see it flash, it's me changing the polarity. So that's what the bridge rectifier does. My soldering iron is more than warmed up. Take our jumpers out of the way. We're going to solder to our positive first. I said he's going to get the red wire. I'm going to cut it back nice and short. Get a piece of heat shrink. Put it over. So it's already on our wire. Take a second to tin our two wires because our soldering iron should be warm enough. Lost my solder for a second. So we've got him cut nice and short. So we are going to solder. Get back on there. To our short and positive post. Heat shrink down over it. Gonna get it down as far as we can get it so that we don't get any accidental electrical contract once this goes in the locomotive. Just gonna cheat, use our soldering iron to shrink down this heat shrink. So now, switch it around. We're going to trim down our negative lead. I'm going to do the same thing. Put a small piece of shrink wrap on the wire ahead of time. Get this up here. Put a little bit. of solder on our lead. Try not to keep heat too long. 
bridge rectifier will get hot quick and you do not want that got the heat shrink down soldering iron to shrink down our heat shrink again Now we're just going to hook our test leads back up, make sure everything still works. When it comes to soldering litter stuff like that, I always recommend checking after each set of steps. So our LED still comes on and it works no matter what direction our power supply is set in. So now I'm going to take the extra wire, cut off my LED. I always side arm long so I have a spare wire when I need it. I'm going to cut these down, solder these on, put a little heat shrink on. And then we'll be able to put it in the locomotive. Doesn't matter what wire gets hooked up to this point. The only uh, sensitive ones are the positive lead, which needs to be the positive lead of the LED. Strip off a little extra wire. retin these wires since I shrunk them a little more. Get a little LED circuit back up here. Simply attach our two leads. I'm trying to do this so you can still see. There's one. There's two. Take our little bits of. Apparently that one didn't solder on so well. Let's get a little more solder. Just to show you I don't edit my videos. Leave that mistake in there. So, got my heat shrink over. Same thing, which I'm going to cheat, use our soldering iron to shrink it down. Again, we're just going to test and make sure that everything's still working. And it is. Next step is twofold. 
you need to mount your LED in to the locomotive which you can do depending on your locomotive and how you want to do it I'm not actually going to show you that part because every locomotive is different the part I will show is how I mount it to the engine so we've got a solder pad on that pickup already we're going to solder one wire to that one I've lost my solder there it is but what we need is a small little solder pad on the frame due to the size of the frame sometimes it can take a minute to get it heated up well enough to get the solder to stay You do want to make sure it does get good contact. So I'm going to solder these on to show you the final product working. Then I will go back and actually attach this basically I want to make sure you saw this working in action I'm going to hook up one lead to the frame one test lead one of our pickups. I'm going to hold on to my locomotive so it doesn't try and drive away on me. But we're hooked up to our power supply. You can see the locomotive trying to take off on me. Switch the direction. Still going. Switch the direction. Still going. Turn my light out. Get a little bit better view. Switch directions. Still going. Switch directions, still going. Only th other thing you could do to help this out is to put a capacitor in the loop, which would keep the light on during any changes in power. But that is down and dirty. How you do it. And that's one of the finished products. You can glue these LEDs to the back of um, the light lenses that are already in some of the locomotives. Mine are all out because I had painted them. Um, you can do this with different size LEDs. You can do this with uh, surface mount LEDs, fiber optics. There's a whole bunch of variety of ways where you can actually install these LEDs. But these are more for my kids to play with. So simple, down and dirty. They're happy that they light up. Always remember to turn your soldering iron off. But that's it for uh, this how-to video. Um, next one is most likely going to be installing a similar LED light circuit inside a passenger locomotive. And I will also at some point be doing a LED install on one of my HO scale buildings.